Hi guys, thanks again for watching. I am really excited to do this video. This one has been a long time coming, um, mainly because I have a lot of these and there's a lot to go over. So I didn't want to rush through it. I don't do that for any video, so I didn't think this one would be any different. So before we get going, just make sure you are subscribed below and go ahead and give this video a like and let's just jump on in. This video is actually about liquid eyeliners and I have many, many years of experience with liquid eyeliners so I feel like I am not an expert but I know what I'm talking about and I've used quite a few. So without rambling on and on, I'm just going to jump in. Um, I do have some close-ups but not a ton, mainly because I had a, a chemical peel last week and so I can't really put a lot of makeup on my face. Um, I did put a little bit of concealer and a little powder just to kind of set it in place. But um, yeah, so you don't really want to see my skin. It looks a little flaky. Not Nothing bad. So I have seven different liquid-ish eyeliners. And I say liquid-ish because I'll let you know when we get to it um, that I wanted to talk about today. And I'm going to just go ahead and go in order of my favorites and to my least favorite. There's one little exception at the end, just because it's not quite a liquid, uh, like a liquid pen. So that's why it's at the end. I've just kind of given it its own category. But anyway, I will post everything below. So if you want to know what I'm using, even the brush, all that, I'll post all of it below. So let's get going. So my number one, my ride or die, that would be the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. This is waterproof and it's a felt tip liner. So let's see if I can show you. You can tell that it's got kind of a precision tip. This one's a bit older and I do find that almost every eyeliner you're gonna have, as you use it more and more, that tip just isn't as sharp as it goes on. So that's not this particular one's fault or Stila in general, that just happens. Um, you can take little scissors and cut it off to make it a bit sharper. That's a trick that I found works. Um, I actually have two of them. So let's see, I think, I don't remember which one is older, but you can kind of tell maybe this one is a little sharper than this one. I find that even with it being a little older, it still gets me kind of the precision tip that I want. Before I tell you all about it, let me just kind of go over the specs of it. So these are $22. They are the most expensive one that I'm reviewing. Of course, I did not review every single eyeliner out there. There are million, well, maybe not millions, there are hundreds and I, I'm not gonna do that I'm not Tati so I did not do that and I know that one of the more popular ones is also the Kat Von D and I did not do that or nor have I bought it just because I don't really align with what she aligns with so I'm not gonna purchase that but anyway let's jump back in so the Stila stay all day sorry I'm looking down I've got notes because I can't remember all this but this comes in point 0.016 fluid ounces pretty much all of these eyeliners are around that same amount the most that you're going to get is 0.02 fluid ounces and don't worry I you know you go through these I would say like even if you're using it every day it could probably last you months. So the Stila comes in eight colors and they are all cruelty free. I'm just going to put that in so I don't say it each time. Everyone I'm reviewing is cruelty free. I think some of the benefits with the Stila stay all day are that A it comes in eight colors that's the most out of any of these. Of course like I said there are other eyeliners out there. They might come in more colors, but for the ones I'm reviewing, this one comes in the most colors. And it ranges from like black, charcoal, brown, to more kind of interesting colors in purple. And I think there's a dark green one. These, when they say stay all day, they absolutely mean it. They are semi water, uh, they're waterproof. They say they're waterproof, but if you go swimming, it's not gonna stay on your eye, especially if you're rubbing and out in the sun all day. But just in the normal occurrence of life, like if it rains and all that, you're not going to have it running down your face. For those kind of main reasons, just the, the lasting power, I think the, the application, it really, even as it gets older like mine is, you're really going to be able to get a clean line out of it. And you're going to have the same amount come out. So sometimes I find that if you do just the little tip of the brush, it's going to have a lot less. And then when you put the, the wider part on your skin, you're going to have a lot more. 
but with the Stila, you really don't get that. You get a pretty even amount of flow. I've been using these, I just calculated it. It took a while. I have been using that brand, this exact one, for 10 years. So if I buy it over and over again, you know that it's a good one. And I stand by this one 100% and I tell everyone I know about it if they want liquid eyeliner. So moving into our second one, I'm just putting it in with the first one because it's actually the same brand. It's Stila and it's also the Stay All Day. But this one is interesting because it's the micro tip. So let's see if it can focus on that. I'm going to do a side by side comparison. We have the micro tip on right here and then the normal Stila Stay All Day right here. So you can tell that it is quite a bit more precise. And this one is good for precision work, just like it, you would assume. Um, and you're gonna you're gonna have a little bit more work if you want to do a full look but look at the difference between the Stila stay all day and then the micro tip don't mind the dots so if you're not great at the cat eye and you find like it gets too wide at the tip this one is a really great one because you can do that precision and then kind of fill the rest of it in I'm gonna have a whole little drawing on my hand by the end of this the next one we have is the Fenty fly liner now, I fell pretty madly in love with this one when I got it a while back, and I, I would say, I mean, it still is. This is technically my number two because I kind of meshed the Stila ones into one. So this is my second favorite. This retails for $20 and is 0.19 fluid ounces. It only comes in one color, which is like ultra black. One of the nice things about this is that it comes, the, the shape of it is triangular. Not sure if you can see that. Yeah, it's really nice to hold it. It's like, do you remember when you were young and learning how to write? You put those little squishy rubber things on your pen to get you to hold the pen in the right form? That's what this is. And what I found with this is the flow of it is so, so great. My only qualm with it is that I don't think that you get the most precise tip for the end. And this one I've had for a while and it's definitely gotten a little ratty at the end. I cleaned up my hand a little just because it was getting a little crazy. But I want to show you what this one, how it comes out. I did a really wide tip at the end, but it comes out so dark, so fluid. And I really do find that, especially when new, this one just gives you kind of like the perfect fluid stroke of a pen. Like I said, it's not my favorite for the sharpest wing cat eye, um, but it has other purposes. I would say the greatest part of this is, but this stuff, it's like almost to the point where you're like, I, I, I kind of want to take it off because it does not come off like to another level. So all things being equal, they both stay for a long time. But in my world, I want my eyeliner to be able to have that precise tip, which is why I put this one first. This next one was actually pretty surprising to me. I got this for free because I bought so much stuff at Bare Minerals one time. This is the Bare Minerals Lash Domination Ink Liner. I said that three times already and didn't get it right, so... Good job, Dana. This is $19, so a little bit less than the others, and has 0 0.02 fluid ounces. Now, so far, all of these have been felt tip liners, and I, I forgot to mention that in the others, but with the felt tip liner, it is really just like a felt pen. So this one comes in one color, which is black. I think it's intense black. You should do this with all of your liquid eyeliners, but for this one, I find it to be especially true, and as it gets older, it's more important. Shake it, and then... So as you can see, I just did a few strokes because I wanted to make sure it was coming out. But this one is going to be a little less intense, which is, I don't mind that. I think you have certain times where you want it to be a little less intense. For this one, when I just want a really simple look, I use this. It goes on really quickly and easily. I do one stroke, that last one, and then you can start building that color up. So. That's the only reason that it's definitely lower than the others. It's in the middle, it's number four for me, so it's exactly that. It's average, there's nothing special to it, it's just felt tip liner. So the next one we have is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. This one retails for $7 right now at Ulta. It's on sale, it's normally $9. This NYX comes in 0 0.3, whoa the most and it comes in two colors black and brown this one is actually a brush tip liner it's hard to see i'm going to show you I'm not sure if you can really tell it's even hard to tell in person but they're basically little little brush hairs all together 
that give you this eyeliner tip. And you can see that it's a pretty nice stroke and it's a pretty nice amount of um, color that comes out and the color is pretty opaque. So all in all, this is the cheapest one I have and I would say that if you just don't want to spend like over $10, this is a really good one to use. I don't particularly like brush liners, but that's just me. Um, I know a lot of people do. And I, I typically like a lot of NYX products, so I, I do tend to go for them over some of the others just because I find that it's a mid-level brand. It's not expensive like the $22 Stila ones, but it's also not like $5 where you're like, uh, I'm not sure. And I find that when you go down and down and down in price, the opacity and the color payoff they're just not quite what I want. So I think NYX is a really good kind of mid-level brand. So number six is the Physicians Formula. This is the, what's it called? Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Serum Eyeliner and Serum. This one was recommended by The Tela. She has a really good YouTube video and she, this is her favorite. So of course then I went out and bought it and my dumbass got black instead of ultra black. And she says it in every video. She's like, just get the ultra black. This is basically a charcoal color, so don't do like I did. I never use this because of that. I don't, I just don't like the color. It was $11.50, I think, online, and it comes in 0 0.02 fluid ounces. It does come in three colors. This one is also a brush tip liner, so again, just not my personal favorite, but if you like a brush tip liner, I know that this one is raved about by quite a few people. So let's see what it looks like. Yeah, so it really does look gray. This is built up. It's this last one, so it's okay. I I don't I don't know why I have it honestly because I think I've never actually used it once I realized I got the wrong color. But here we are. So it's one of the ones that I really really wanted to love. The last one that I have is the Tardis clay paint liner, and I put this last not because it is last, but because it's so different from the others. I didn't want to throw it in with the pencils. This one is a really interesting kind of concept and I think it's really smart in a lot of ways. It comes in this little kind of like squeezy tube and it comes with this little pot at the end. What you do, this is great if you're a real makeup artist because then you're not using the same tip and you don't have to sanitize it. With this one you just squeeze it, the little, the ink comes up into this pot and then you can use a brush to get it and then put it on your eye. Now it came with this brush, which is from Tarte, and it's terrible. I don't know why I have it, but I just sometimes can't throw things away. It doesn't give you the precision that you want. So I actually went out and bought this MAC 263 brush, which is the one I used in my other video, which I will link above. Um, and this brush is probably my favorite brush of any brush I own. I'm going to show you guys how I put this Tartist on this eye and the Stila on this eye, just so you can kind of see the differences. But Overall, I do really like the Tardist. It actually comes with the most amount of product, which is so exciting. It comes with 0.21 ounce fluid ounces, and it retails for $24, so it actually is the most expensive that I have. Um, but you're getting twice as much, if not more. It only comes in one color, which is black. This one, I would say, is more advanced. If you are just getting into liquid eyeliners or makeup in general, this is not for you. This one took me a while and I've been wearing eyeliner for like 10 plus years. So just keep that in mind. You also need a brush. So it's not something like a one-stop shop kind of thing. I think you can actually get the most precise line, but that also is in large part to this MAC 263 brush. So that's kind of the roundup. Again, like I said, this is not inclusive of everything out there. I'm not going to say that it is. This is just what I found has worked and I've tried quite a few. These are the ones that I own currently. I've had many more than this, but these are kind of the ones that I keep going back to and or have heard good things about and wanted to try myself. So let's go ahead and watch me put on the Tardis on this eye and the Stila on this eye, and then I will wrap up.
So for comparison's sake, you really can't tell much of a difference. Maybe just my application is a little different, um, but they both dry down very matte and go on with quite a bit of precision. But overall, I don't know if you can really go wrong. I mean, I'm sure there are some out there that are just terrible, but while you're on Ulta or even Walmart, you know, just kind of read the reviews and see what's out there. But if you came to me and said, Dana, I need an eyeliner, I want black, I want it to be great for cat eyes or just going over the top of my lash line, what would you recommend? 10 out of 10 times, I would say the Stila stay all day. I, I mean, I've been using this for 10 years. It, it never fails me, it stays on all day, it comes off when I want it to, it gives me the precision for the cat eyes and I don't have to work hard for it. So I just, there's nothing quite like it. So it's kind of Stila versus everyone. All right guys, I hope you liked this. It was a beast of a video to do. I know it didn't seem like it maybe, but I have been stewing and thinking about this video for so, so long and I hope I did it justice. Like I said a million times before, this is not inclusive of every eyeliner out there. Please don't think that I'm saying that it is, but I can wholeheartedly endorse the Stila Stay All Day. Nothing really compares. So I hope you guys like this video and don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.